So what have I been up to this year since my re-election in May as Police and Crime Commissioner? Well, many different things, but one thing I'd like to tell you about is our fantastic restorative justice partnership, a group of 26 different organisations across Sussex who are all delivering restorative justice. This is where a victim of a crime can actually meet the perpetrator and they get an opportunity to tell the perpetrator what that crime has done to them and how it felt for them. Very often we hear from victims that the penal system isn't enough for them and they actually want to meet the person themselves and, and get that feeling of having the justice restored to them. So we've got a fantastic partnership that's been led through my office that's now operating across Sussex. Uh, all 26 partners have just got a qualified accreditation mark which shows that they deliver to the very, very highest quality you can possibly get in the UK today. And they've also amazingly won a national award for what they're doing, so I'm really proud of the work that they're delivering. Something else um, that I'm really pleased with is my Elders Commission. They reported in Parliament earlier this year and uh, part of their report was quite disturbing. They showed that one in five older people living in Sussex is more terrified when the telephone rings than they are of actually going through their front door and, and uh, experiencing antisocial behaviour on the streets. And what we found in Sussex, which is really quite disturbing, is that criminals are deliberately targeting our elderly um, down the phone lines and taking money off them. And on average, an older person, a high-risk victim living in Sussex, is losing uh, over £20,000 each. I mean, that's equivalent to more than a year in a care home. Um, it really is quite a disturbing trait to understand that our elderly now are being deliberately targeted by criminals. So the police are now looking at how they respond to that and Sussex Police has a fantastic uh, operation called Operation Signature and they actually will go out and meet the victims and give them a very personalised uh, response to this. This is quite an exciting piece of uh, equipment here. Um, in the last year I managed to get funding so that uh, police stations across Sussex, there's 14 of them now, can have what we call live link video equipment fitted. And this will enable police officers to give evidence direct into magistrates' courts without having to spend hours travelling to and from court and without having to spend hours sitting around at court waiting time to give evidence. We found that officers uh, tend to spend up to five and a half hours per time in court and sometimes they don't even get to give evidence. They sit around all day and wait. So this will save a huge amount of officer time. Really excited today because we've also got a live link going live in Hellinglai Hospital. So this will allow um, patients there who are part of the secure hospital, rather than them having to go to court and all the disruption that causes, they'll be able to give evidence direct from the hospital site as well. So working with our partners in, in uh, the health services, working with the police and other criminal justice partners has been really tremendous this year. So very pleased with this and I look forward to seeing this expanded in years to come and labelling um, uh, members of the public also to give evidence in public rooms and so on. So, so as courts begin to close, this will give us as members of the public much greater access to justice. As we come up to Christmas and we're all having great fun and times with our family and our friends, do spare a thought for everybody in emergency services, particularly police officers and staff who are working on Christmas Day and throughout the Christmas and festive period, away from their own family and their friends, keeping us all safe. So a big thumbs up and thank you to them and look forward to seeing you again in the new year.